Hello everyone, it's Final Render here, and I'm going to do a different video to what I've usually done on this channel so far. I'm going to do a completely unscripted and completely unplanned version of me building Castle. And obviously this is Fallout 4 PC version, and I have got an awful lot of mods installed. And this is my second time through the game, so I've actually been okay with having lots of mods and cheat codes and stuff like that this time around. Just trying to make a really nice big settlement. Here is the first example, which is part of the expanded settlements or alternate settlements. I've got these power generators, which have got 45 power each. A little bit cheating, you could say, but at the same time, you see those power generators in the game. So why not include them, really? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with Castle is build up these foundations where the giant holes in the walls are. If you use these shack foundations that you can get, these are in the vanilla game, then you can actually block them up quite nicely and they clip into the ground so that you can place them on slight slopes. I'm also using the stackable foundation blocks mod so that you can stack them one on top of another as you can see here. And again, you know, I need to work on this a little bit more, but using the alternate settlements mod, you can get special walls and special wallpapers which look like other materials in the game, such as this one looks like stone. And the idea is to eventually cover all the foundations with these, this stone so that it actually looks like it is part of the castle. Although I have been having a lot of trouble with it appearing in red. I do have a mod in place which is meant to disable the red mode so that I can place things in red. Ironically, it's called place in red but it's really finicky to use right now you know it's all done using cheat engine and it isn't quite right yet but he's working on a nexus version and so now i'm going to replace the artillery i mean it's pretty obvious that there's only one thing these little circular parts of castle of four and that's for placing artillery so place an artillery in each one and if you're like me, when you're in castle, especially when you're building, you tend to run off the edges quite a lot. So I decided to put these little wooden railings all around the edge of it. And it, it took quite a while to put all these railings down, but I think it actually worked and it actually does make sense. You know, you don't want people falling off of these ramparts. That would be very embarrassing if super mutants were attacking you. And the best thing about actually using these foundations as well in order to cover the holes is that walls do snap to them so if like me you're building these railings around the edge and you use the foundations to block up the holes then you can actually snap those into place quite easily but on the main edge you actually just got to place them by eye just to make sure they're all level etc using big ones for the big gaps and the smaller ones on the corners so you can kind of get a little edge going and that took an awful long time, but it does look good, I'm sure you'll agree. It doesn't look too ridiculous, I thought about doing it with like wire fences or concrete blocks, but I decided I want to keep it law friendly. Something which I wanted to do with building up these settlements was to make it law friendly, but also make it practical, so to speak, because there are a lot of things in the vanilla game which you can't do, it just doesn't let you do it for some arbitrary reason, or there are certain objects which you think you would be able to use but for some reason you can't in the build mode. Like one of the things which I really notice is just like nice looking stuff, you know, a fridge which is clean. You can't use that in the vanilla game, it's always broken. It's like, is it really too ridiculous to say that I could clean the fridge after I've built it? You know what I mean? It's just a bit silly to have everything completely broken. Like why can't I have nice buildings? I know it's the apocalypse and stuff like that and that's the feeling Fallout 4 is going for, but if I was going to rebuild society, I'd at least try to make it look nice. Right, so what I'm doing now is that I'm building a little area just off the edge of one of the ramparts at the back. And this is going to be where people sleep. I decided to use concrete foundations going all the way to the base of the building. You don't actually have to do that. It can just float in the air. But I thought if I stack the foundations all the way down to the ground, it does look a bit more convincing. This isn't exactly five-star accommodation right here. It's all very tight, very small, very condensed. But again, using the alternate settlements mod, I decided to put up some curtains and stuff like that just to make it look nice. In my first playthrough of Fallout 4, I made everything just pure function. You know, it would be a room with beds and a door. That was it. No lights, no decorations, just put it in there. But in this second playthrough, actually, I'm going to try to make things look nice. That's probably one of the main reasons why I'm okay with using using the, co the console cheats and stuff, because it's my second time through. I do recommend playing it through once properly before starting all these cheats and stuff, but afterwards, do what you want. 
So as you can see here, my size was pretty much full in the game. So I used the Unlimited Settlements mod, in which you just click on a workshop in the command console, type bat expanded settlements, or bat expand settlements, and now I've got unlimited space in my settlement again. And it'll stay that way. It's not necessarily a good idea to remove the cap. The cap is in there for a very good reason, it's to stop the game crashing and slowing down. So that's why Bethesda limited the amount of objects you can place, but if you've got a PC, it's down to your hardware, really, as to how much you can load. And my PC's okay. Here I am making the little kitchen area. I doubt I'll really use the kitchen area, but it just seems to make sense to have an area where people will cook some food and stuff. And using some of the extra stuff in the mods, I'm able to get some really nice looking counters and some really nice looking tables, etc. So I thought, why not make a nice little kitchen? I don't plan on people eating here, but it just seems to make sense. So if you're in a place which has lots of people living, you want a nice looking kitchen. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to even be functional. You could just look at it. But that's, as I said, that's something I want to do in this playthrough. I want to just make things that look good and look practical, that are law friendly. But not necessarily be there for function. I could fill this room with, say, beds, for example, and nothing but beds, but let's face it, I'd rather have a nice looking kitchen, and it actually does look quite nice, actually, for how much little is in there. Okay, so now here comes some extra lighting. I do have the Darker Nights mod installed, and I also have the Brighter Settlements mod installed. Obviously, Darker Nights makes the nights darker. The vanilla nighttime levels, the darkness levels, it's really too bright. You can see pretty darn clearly. And the settlement lights, they're really, really dim. <laughs> you know, they're really rubbish lights. So, but when you put the Brighter Settlements mod and the Darker Nights, your settlements really look welcoming and they really look like a place you want to get to to be safe. And in this little section of the castle, I decided to have a kind of rec room. You know, just a kind of fun, relaxing place where people can come at the end of the day. Again, you know, it doesn't really serve too much function, but it just adds to the immersion of the game and makes it much more fun, if I'm honest. If you do spend time making good-looking settlements, it is more fun when you're there. And you do feel like you've accomplished something with all this building. So I put lots of decorations up, make it look really nice, lots of pictures of cats, I'll probably get some mods to change some of the pictures, but I'll definitely keep the cat mods. You know, keep the cat pictures in there, but you know, like this one of a dog, maybe put a picture of a death claw or something. And put up some really big lights using the alternate settlements mod. There's a couple mods which add lots of new items into the game, or what I should say items you can't use in the vanilla. These are all, what, these are all models that are in the default game, but for some reason you can't build them. Probably for the sake of the law, so that you don't end up having, well, you know, giant pool tables in your rec rooms and stuff. And I do believe I got rid of this pool table, actually. Yeah, here we go. So, I have some sofas, have a TV, everything like that, make it look good. I have put the bar, actually, in here, or the restaurant, I should say. Very good idea. If you want all of your settlement, all your settlers to congregate in one area at the end of the day, such as this rec room where it's pretty and there's a jukebox playing music and stuff, put the restaurant in there, because at the end of the day, I think it's at 9 o'clock, all of your settlers will flock to the bar area, so they'll go and eat some food, and then after they've eaten their noodles, they will sit down on these chairs, they'll turn the jukebox on, they'll watch telly, etc. It's very immersive. And here I'm adding all the rest of the stores to the castle. I just thought I'll do it in the little tunnel area of the castle, so to speak, just so that all of the stores and the traders are inside. Because, I don't know about you, I don't want to do shopping if it's raining, so I figured if, you know, say the trade caravans came into the castle and they wanted to stock up, let them do it in the dry. You know, again, it's about making a place seem believable so that the game's more immersive. And I think it really works well just by having them inside as opposed to outside. And here we go, I'm going to... I actually did very little work in the armory. A lot of the stuff in the armory is kind of already there. You know, you've already got a weapons workshop, you've already got an armor workshop, you've got some shelves which have already got decorations and lots of laser rifles and stuff. But you don't have the weapon shop. I decided to put that in there. And also, power armor station. Need a power armor station? Where else am I going to store my power armor? I really do like collecting the power armor. And... There's something about just having several complete sets of power armor all in a row in your settlement, which just looks lovely. Okay, 
So here is probably the most arduous challenge of actually building a settlement, but probably the most important, I think, especially as you can see, I've got the Dark Nights mod on, so it is pretty darn dark outside. You have to use your torch if you've got this mod on. It's time to put some lights up. Put some lights up and do all the wiring. Now, one mod which I think is probably the most valuable when it comes to the wiring is obviously the longer wires. <laughs> I believe that's what it's called. Um, because for some reason, all of the power, all the power lines, they're really, really short in the vanilla game. You can only go like three, four meters or so with each cable. But in this case, with this mod on, you actually can take the power cables to a lot further distances. I still put up lots of power conduits everywhere because when you're using things like the wall lights or the street lights, you don't need to plug those into a conduit, you just need to have them near a conduit. So if you have lots of conduits, then you can place lights pretty much anywhere you want as long as they're within proximity to a conduit. And that's why I put so many around, like I put them all on the walls, I put them on the ramparts later on you'll see. And well, I've actually got a little trouble there with the clipping through, so I'll just move it down a little bit and then you should be able to get it to go in between that little area there. There you are, sometimes just moving it a little bit will make it work. And again, putting these wall lights up. I do need to get a mod to add more wall lights, that's the only one in there. And now I'm using the power pylons, which are a little taller, and I'm going to put these all along the railings of the castle, because I want to be able to put some lights all along the railings, so that people can see that there's a settlement nearby. And also, I need to have some defences on all the railings, so put up lots and lots of these, and then connect them all together. I needed a way to get power to the power pylons, but I didn't want to have a cable going from the kind of ground level, going up from the outside. And I found this little staircase and I thought, why don't I just daisy chain a few conduits together going up these stairs? Again, since I've got the longer power lines mod, I didn't need to necessarily put four conduits down, but again, it just seemed more law friendly. It just seemed to look nicer, so to speak, just to have a couple there. I think so anyway. And I've got the the 4K star mod in there as well, so that there are just millions of stars in the sky. It looks so pretty. I don't think you should be afraid to mod your game. However, keep in mind a lot of the really clever mods, like quest mods and stuff, they won't come out for a while, not until the creation kit is out. Right now it's just stuff on the Nexus and things, and you occasionally have to edit some I know files, etc. But for the most part, they all work. I haven't had any trouble with mods at all, actually. It's pretty good. Okay, so all the lights were down, and now we need some more food. Again, using the alternate settlements mod, you can actually get these food planters. I'm sure you've probably seen them in the main game, but these little areas, these little trays where people can plant food, you can't use them in the vanilla game. You can only just plant directly into the ground. But using this mod, you can get them. And the best thing about this is that each planter gives you two food, whereas in the vanilla game, a moo fruit plant, which gives you the most, only gives you one. So that's brilliant. And here's a really nice idea I had. I wanted, <laughs> I say nice now, I wanted to put all of these light boxes going all up the radio tower. I thought that would look really, really nice, but you can't just attach them. So I had to exploit lots of glitches and stuff like that. Again, I couldn't get the place in red mod to work properly. So I decided to just place it on top of this little wooden panel and then you can remove the wooden panel and the object will float in the air. Kind of a glitch in a way, but I can't see a feasible way to do it until I can get that place in red mod to work. So you see if I remove those, they're now hanging in the air. So, you know, eat that Isaac Newton. And I place these lights all the way down. And I don't know if you've ever done anything with light boxes in Fallout 4, but it's a nightmare. It's so resource intensive. Obviously I'm using cheats and stuff to get lots of resources. And wiring them all together, it's a very arduous task. It took a really long time. I'm I'm talking really long to get all of these connected in a way so that I can actually power them on. And something you also you'll know about light boxes is that you need a lot of power. A lot of power. Each one of those little light square light boxes takes one power each. So I thought before I finish it, I'm gonna add some more power. I already had 90 power, but I decided to upgrade it a bit more with these this industrial large generator which you can find in the game and also these smaller industrial generators. Uh, the big one gives you 75 power and these little ones give you 35 each. And I probably didn't need all that power, but I thought better safe than sorry. Let's get all this power so I can get my lovely 
tower light box working. It took forever, that did. And now again, going back to the ramparts, I decided to put a little box next to each power pylon and then place a spotlight on top of it. And I actually don't think I have anything to properly defend my base apart from these spotlights, but these spotlights are going all the way around the settlement and it gave me a really high defense count. It was, it was over 100. What is it? Yeah, my defense is 74. That's just with spotlights. And something I realized as settlers started to come in, I didn't have enough beds. I only had seven beds and I had 11 settlers and the amount of settlers is only gonna get bigger. I don't remember what the cap on castle is. I think it's like 23 settlers in castle. So I'll probably have to build another third floor of beds as well later on down the line. But same plan with the second floor of bedrooms, just a nice little small area. And there we go. That is how I built castle in Fallout 4. I don't think it's going to be done, I haven't got any kind of real defences, I've only got spotlights and there is still a lot of other things I can think to do to improve it so I probably will come back to castle and improve it even more so like I would like to get the concrete blocks on all the foundations of the walls I would like to get some proper defences and I would probably like to change the bed area as well so that there's a bit more space for people to go to sleep but besides that it, I'm actually very proud of it. It's It looks good. It could use a few more decorations and stuff, like I could put some plates on that table for example. But overall, I'm actually really proud of the work I did with Castle. Like, I don't know if I'll do another one of these videos, but if you guys like it, then feel free to drop me a message or send a comment saying if you liked the video, maybe you were interested in it because of the mods, maybe you just wanted to see what other people were doing with the building settlements, because Especially if you add mods into the game as well, when you really want to devote yourself to making a really good settlement, it is an extremely fun thing to do in Fallout. It's not necessarily something you need to do in the game, like, it's not actually essential to gameplay, but it's a very nice feature and it is very re rewarding when you get a really nice settlement going. Or at least I think so, anyway. So yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, this is the final render and this was me building castle in Fallout 4 and if you like the video please subscribe leave a like and if it does well then maybe I'll do some more maybe I'll do sanctuary or something like that so thanks very much for watching guys see you soon